going. Next stop, Colombia. This one looks like a, she just came out of the surgery room. I'm finished. This is really not something that I want to be doing right now. 20 US dollars, it's nada, it's nada. I think that they put here a real mango. Then she's stuck there, the boat is stuck there and I can't get there. It's crazy here. The police just cuffed this guy. He's in cuffs. I don't know why, but this is where I am. I'm trying to um, pretend like I'm not filming. I'm just holding my phone by my face. But this is where I am. You see, he's got cuffs on his hands. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared because you're in a third world country and you don't know what the hell, what's gonna go happen. Nobody really tells you what's going on. I did nothing wrong. I'm, I'm technically now the airline's problem because they put me on the flight and gave me the wrong information. Also on the internet it says crew does not need a visa from South Africa. But uh, yeah, I also don't know where my luggage is. What a f up. I cannot enter Colombia. Um, I'll explain later. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here. Olivia has gone through. Um, they want to deport me because I don't have a visa but they gave us mixed information because crew do not need visas but now they're saying only if you arrive with a boat as crew do you not need a visa but if you are crew and you arrive with an airplane you need a visa in Europe they told me I do not need a visa because I'm crew and I have a Siemens book etc Olivia's in a two stunt she was crying she's never done something like this uh, it's gonna make for a good story around a beer one day so i might have to sleep here on the airport tonight i don't have a cell phone charger i everybody speaks spanish i speak a little bit of spanish but not that much so i'll have to check what's going on okay so what i think i want to do is i asked him if it's possible if i can buy a ticket to fly to panama because I am allowed to go to Panama without a visa. But now it's down to the KLM guys. They just made me sign a document in Spanish. Um, and I was like, what does it say? No, it just says that I don't have a visa and I can't come in. Hang on. Um, but it's quite dodgy in here. They're locking people up and there's people in more people that's being interrogated and it's... Oh, fuck. I wouldn't say I'm scared, but like, it's just like, nobody tells you what's going on, if you know what I mean. Like, no one tells you nothing. Sit down and wait. We'll live, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm hoping I can buy a ticket to Panama. But then I have to get somebody to move the yacht to Panama because Olivia obviously can't sail the boat to Panama. Getting a visa takes too long. I have to go to a Colombian, um, or maybe I can go to Panama take a boat and come in with a boat because I'm allowed to come in with a boat. See? Um, it was quite a rush and um, a little bit of crying because of all the emotions. It's not very many times in life that I want to curse, but I'm gonna curse now and say, F this. I am. I'm finished. 
this is really not something that I want to be doing right now. But I'm buying, I got myself a beer. I have two policemen, no, well, not policemen, but security guards following me. There they're sitting. Okay, there. They've admitted that it's KLM's fault, that they gave me the wrong information. They've also admitted that on the internet that the visa requirements have changed lately and some sites says that I don't need a visa and some sites says that I do need a visa for Colombia. So it's one big fuck up. Um, Olivia's on the boat. I can't even see the boat that we just got. Uh, she's... I feel so bad for her and so sad. And... Um, yeah, welcome to sailing. I mean, welcome to traveling around the world with a South African passport. I, like, what else can I say? Luckily, luckily I know someone that helped bring the boat to Colombia for me. And he can probably sail the boat to Panama for me. So, this is costing me a shitload of money and a lot of frustration. And I want to be on my boat and I want to be with my girlfriend and I don't want to sit here with two f security guards looking at me while I'm drinking a beer. And... Alright you guys, I'm gonna sleep here on the ground. <laughs> this is my friend <laughs> whom I bought dinner for. It's quarter past four in the morning Warsaw time so I am quite tired and uh, they don't want to allow me to book into the lounge the VIP lounge which my credit card allows me to do because he's not allowed to go in there according to the security company and they have to watch me because they say people come to Colombia to come and live here or something on the floor is where I'm going to be tonight and uh, I speak to you tomorrow what did I I'm done check you tomorrow well a very good morning to you from the airport floor um, the temperature was like minus temperatures centigrade last night and uh, they have these announcements every 20 minutes that makes me wake up plus the KOM staff was so annoying they came to wake me up every half hour with a different requirement that they need and then I needed to give them boarding passes then I had to pay for my luggage but they said I didn't have to pay for my luggage because they'll send it on guys seriously this has been an administration nightmare so I'll fly to Panama now and then I sleep in some hostel tonight and then I'll take a bus from Panama City to Bocas del Toro and then Olivia, her first sail ever without me on our new boat with someone else <laughs> that at le lucky, luckily I knew somebody that can help that now has sent, um, well that's now going to sail the boat with Olivia, it's costing me quite a bit of money so I'm going to see you guys in Panama and hopefully I can be on the boat soon. It's about 500 nautical miles that they have to sail from uh, Colombia to Panama. So 500 miles downwind, that boat can do about 150 miles a day easy. So three days, I think, three and a half days they'll be here or in Panama. So probably in Four and a half days, five days, I'll see them with all the customs and immigration bullshit and PCR tests, etc. Uh. Alright guys, I'm back in the Caribbean. And for the first time now, I'm just really taking a deep breath. And I'm having something that's really strong, that's calming my nerves. You know, I never said that this YouTube channel is going to be all about sailing and just smooth sailing. I am just worried about Olivia. That's the only thing I'm worried about because she's such a sweet, soft-hearted, gentle soul. Shame. Yes, she sends me a message now. I love you. 
and she's now in Colombia. She's never been to Central America. She's never lived on a sailboat, but she's all alone there. Um, maybe good, maybe bad, I don't know. I thought I was going to be able to show you my boat that we worked so hard for, but this is just another... Uh, another little detour. They say no real sailor has ever not run aground or doesn't drink rum or curse. I do all two of those and I've definitely run boats aground, so I consider myself a sailor by now. Salud from Panama. This is our bunk. It looks like this. Beautiful. Can't wait to see you here. Okay, so quick update. What is going on uh, here? Um, we are going to pick pick up Stefan from Panama and. Um, it's gonna be my first time sailing. We're gonna sail for three days. Uh, we have a uh, like qualified um, person here. He was uh, moving. He was sailing with his own boat. He was crossing the Atlantic alone, and so I'm I'm not scared um, of doing that with him. I'm just scared of the sea sickness. But we will. No yes. You will be. Oopsie. Put your telephone away <laughs> and you will run around and... You can't even vlog <laughs> because Somebody it's crazy here. So my flip-flops are in the, in the other bag which is with Stefan. So I need to find myself a flip-flops because I'm walking right now with these things and I'm sweating literally. So I'm looking for flip-flops here. I got my flip-flops. Yeah, what a mermaid. But in any case, paid 5 euros and now my feet can breathe! ¿Cuánto tú quieres? ¿Cuánto quieres? 600 dólares. Hasta boca del toro. Hasta boca del toro. Sí. No, es, no es caro. No es caro, caro, es barato. This guy just wants to charge me 600 dollars to take me to Bocas del Toro. I probably can do it for under 50 dollars. Let me show you. Right over, right over. Next day, guys, I've got some energy. Last night, I took two calming tabs which I bought for the boat these people freaking out well I wasn't freaking out but I needed to just calm out like the guy yesterday the taxi guy he charged me so much money I knew he was gonna do it I just didn't have the energy to you know when you go to Latin America you just have to all the time try to bargain with them no I'm not gonna pay you this much no I just like take me to a place to eat and then he started eating I knew he was gonna not pay for himself I just knew it uh, I just didn't know where to go, how to do it. I, I just didn't care yesterday. Like there's those days where you just pay for it. So I went for dinner, very nice. I had three beers, he had three beers. I paid 130 US dollars. Then I got back to the hotel. He said I needed to pay him $40 for the trip. He said, no, 100. So I said, are you fucking crazy? I'm not paying you $100 for the trip. Then he says, okay, 50. So I take out 20 and he's like, oh, you know, they tried to make a scene and they tried to make you feel uncomfortable. And I was like, you know, take the $40 and don't ever come here again. So last night cost me 130 plus 40. Uh, plus I bought him a SIM card for his phone for $5. I got like a typical freaking tourist. I got touristed. 
Um, any case, I knew it was going to happen. I know in Latin America how it goes. They're trying to take the last cent out of your pocket and they pretend like the US dollar is nothing. Like 20 US dollars, that's nada. This is nada. <laughs> but they don't even earn $20 a day, you know? So, that being said, I need to get to Bocas del Toro. So, what I'm doing right now, I got in a taxi and I'm going to go to the train, uh, to the bus station. I know that there's a bus going. And if I take the bus, it's 10 hours. That means if it's overnight, I can save one night on accommodation. Currently, I'm paying $45 a night in a very dodgy hotel. And I have to do that for a while. Plus, I'm paying for the marina where the boat is at. So, my dollars are kind of ticking down. I'm like one of those travelers right now that's not smiling that much because financially it's just screwing me over. Olivia is um, going for her first sail today on our new boat. She will start vlogging that hopefully so you can see what both of us are doing. She's in Colombia, I'm in Panama and we're trying to get together and it's been one hell of a detour and it's just really not been that fun. And this YouTube channel, channel like I said, uh, I will give you a, is as it is. This is not a blue water sailing channel. This is the actual real life shit. Like how does it actually happen? What is it like? These are the things that happen. You just have to go through it. I've got one hell of a fucking adventure. See you later. What about that? How is that? I think that they put here a real mango. Yeah, 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 no, no, wow. no. That's why it takes a while. Very nice. We're getting ready to leave uh, Colombia. Uh, my first sailing ever, and I'm really scared that we, like, that I'm gonna uh, not feel well. So yeah, let's see how it's gonna be. Um, we need to do a clearance here in Colombia, right? And then. We need to uh, do our PCR test for them to um, let us into Panama. Stefan is waiting for us in Panama in Boca del Toro, Boca del Toro, and we will see him there. So yeah, so what's happening right now? At night Cheers. time. I'm in Terminal Albrook. I thought it was like Albru. They said Terminal Albru. I'm like, what if? What's Albru? Come here and it's all brook. Any case, I would have never gotten it without a taxi. So I'm gonna try and find out how much a bus would be to Bocas del Toro. And I've got my translator with me, although I'm not too bad in Spanish, I guess I can do it myself. So two options, fly, taxi for 600 euros, fly for 230 euros, or a bus I'll find out now. I go to Santiago. We have to find a place that says Los Santos, Las Tablas, Las, San Las Palmas. No, not here. Look how everybody is like yelling, yelling. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come by, come by. It's like they're selling something. Like, how can you call me to a counter to go somewhere if I don't even want to go there? Man, this is a culture shock if you've never been to Latin America. It's just so much different to the rest of the world. Okay, so they have a bus, 7.30 a.m., uh, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and 8 p.m. So let me just find out here. Just when I, just when I thought stuff was okay, uh, the charter captain that, um, or the delivery skipper, that is apparently very good, very nice, whatever. He's with Olivia on the boat right now and Olivia found a bag of f***ing on the boat. So I'm not there. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. So I phoned him and I said, listen here, Olivia phoned a bag of f***ing on the boat. Well, a small little bag, like probably, she showed me a photo. It's like this much, probably for personal use. And so I'm like, you're in Colombia and you're bringing drugs on my boat. My girlfriend's there alone. What are you thinking? Then he gets all aggressive and what I do with my life is my life and you can't say that it is and you know, it's, it's, it's my own thing, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, if this guy now says he doesn't want to bring the boat, then she's stuck there, the boat is stuck there and I can't get there. So I said to him, please act professionally. Please take that stuff off my boat. 
Um, I cannot have you have those things on a boat. If they board the boat or the dogs come there, the boat goes into quarantine. Olivia is in jeopardy. Like, what the hell is up with this guy? And he's a professional. He is a professional qualified delivery skipper. Okay. Which I paid quite a bit of money. And when I phone him to say, I don't want that on my boat, he gets defensive with me and tells me to keep my nose out of his life. So hair is washed, I'm clean, not shaven, got a bunch of flowers. I'm hoping it's gonna make up for all the bullshit. <laughs> what a mission. Absolutely huge. <laughs> massive, no, but massive. I am here now. You can go have a cold beer? Yes, something to eat first of okay, all. Okay, cool. I'll I'm take you to a nice hot. place. 